Are you looking forward to learning how to make a pant, a trousers, or a palazzo, or even a shirt with long sleeves or short sleeves? Even if you already know how to make any of these, do you know why you do what you do anytime you are making a pant, trousers, palazzo, shirt? Then this is the best video for you because I'm going to be exposing some tips and tricks easy and fastest way of making a pants palazzo trousers or a shirt i bring you blessings i bring you love i bring you peace i bring you joy take a chill pill stick stay and keep watching to the end of this content in this tutorials we shall be focusing on the trousers or the pants or the down part of these two pieces outfit this pant is also subdivided into two that is the back part of the pant and the front part of the pant. Let's first of all draft and cut the front part of the trousers. That is going to be the best method which is going to aid us to be able to cut the back part of the trousers or the pants. Firstly, let's fold this fabric piece. This is for the front part of the trousers. With the help of my clips and some pins, let me just secure my fabric in place to just kind of prevent it from moving about. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. Please, when you hear me say pants trousers or the down parts of this outfit i basically mean the same thing i'm so sorry i might be using these words interchangeably please just bear with me let me get the best color for this fabric because it's a multicolored fabric i need to i mean choose a color that can be visible for you guys to be able to see exactly what i'm doing so let me try this yellow color mm, no it's not all that visible no it's not all visible so let me just change to um chalk normal chalk okay let me use the same yellow color um let me try that and see mm, that one too it's not all that clear so let me use the pink um let's look at that i think the pink is better so let's go with that okay Let's go with the pink. This straight line we just finished marking is known as our waistline. Basically, we shall need just two measurements. That is the hip circumference and the length of the trousers. So the first step is to determine our crotch depth. And to determine our crotch depth, if you've not taken the measurement directly on your customer, then you have to divide your hip circumference by four. And depending on the type of trousers or pants, that will determine how much you should add to that hip divided by four okay so in this our case it's going to be a very loose pant very free one of course she wanted it to be at her natural waist that's so close to her navel on this note i shall be adding four inches to that before we start let me just trim off the edges so that everything will just look so clean for us to do our work i'll first of all take away the two inches band i'll be attaching a band to this so i'll take away the two inches band when i divided my hip circumference by four i had nine so this is nine and i'll be adding one two three four i'll be adding four four inches to that nine inches we had okay because it's going to be very free and loose with the four inches half an inch is going to serve as an allowance to attach the trousers to the band so meaning you know we added 3.5 inches moving to the next step we are going to be determining our tie so if you've taken your tie measurement already just divide that by two and mark that on the crotch line if that is not the case then divide your hip circumference by four plus the allowances you intend to use so in our case let me add one inch for the free and loose next is to move our tape rule to the waistline and duplicate whatever measurement we input right there so it means on the crotch line whatever figure we set there we need to bring it to the waistline it must align this is to the reason that we shall be using an elastic band to gather the waist so there's no need for any waist circumference for this particular drafting once that was done let's connect those two points okay now let's determine our crotch for the crotch i shall be marking three inches once that three inches was marked then i'll go ahead and curve my crotch curve at this very moment my crotch curve was set and done moving forward let's determine the length of the trousers kindly take note if i determine my full length i'll make sure i factor in that two inches for the band okay so my band was two inches so i'm going to be taking that out and i'm marking the full length plus the allowances that's the folding allowance so in all i'm making it 40 
one inches. Let's cut everything out. Congratulations, we are done with the front part of the pant. Now let's move to the back. Just as we folded the front piece before we drafted, we will also go ahead and fold the back piece as well. For the back piece, always make sure the length is about 3 to 5 inches more than the front piece and the width about 3 to 5 inches also more than the front piece. When your arrangement is all set and done, the next is to place the front piece we already cut out on the back piece. Always make sure to secure it with some pins and some pegs. At the center back of our trousers, I shall be stepping up by 1.5 inches, okay? And I'll mark a point there and join it to the side back. And join it to the side back to match up with that side front okay when you do this and you wear the trousers it's not going to be exposing your panty at the back and over there is more fuller than our front so we need to add this so that when your customer wears it it will just cover up everything okay once i'm done with that i'm going to be adding three inches across the center back all across even to the hem of the trousers or the hem of the pant so i'm going to be marking that and i'll use that to form my crotch curve to as well so this is basically all you need to do for this pant once that was ready let me just go ahead and cut as i marked take note for that three inches i added this was because i wanted this pant to be very loose and free if you want your own to be a bit moderate you could add two inches 2.5 okay as we cutting out i want to have a very short discuss with you question of the day is how do you call this you seeing on your screen right now do you call it eyelet do you call it grommet or do you call it corset loops just look at that how do you call it and what is the difference between this and that all right if you have questions and doubts about this i have a very detailed video on the channel explaining everything into details what's the name of the machine we use for inserting this what's the name of it what's the name of this at all just check that out after this video and you're going to be blessed for coming across this video Finally, watch closely. I want us to do one last thing before we move to the sewing part of the video. So, at the front piece, I mean the front, not the back, I will come down by one inch this way and I'll connect it to the side. Do you get? I take it again. At the center front of the piece, I will be coming down by one inch and I'll be connecting it to the side front. This is also to just kind of give it a very nice shape and curve shape at the front there and to also eliminate any bulginess at the front area. There is this last thing we need to do to complete the cutting of the trousers. So what I'm going to be doing is all the sides, I'm going to be opening it. Remember the fabric was on fold. Yes, you are supposed to open it up, okay? When you are done, just open it up for both the front and the back. So we have open for the front and this is the back. Let's also open. So everything is open. We'll be having four different pieces. I'm going to be stitching this way for the back and this other way for the front. I'm done with the joining and I'm back from the sewing machine. So this is the front and the back piece. I've gone ahead to join the crotch length, okay? And let me just show you that this is where I joined. And that is where I also joined for both the front and the back piece. These are the trousers, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to be inputting um our pocket, okay? There should be pockets in this um pants, okay? So that is the back and that is the front on top of the back that way. So always you realize the back is bigger than the front. 
this very long piece is our pant waist band so that was two inches for the band so two inches by two that was giving me four inches and i added one inch for joining the band to the trousers also these are also two pieces i've gone ahead to cut for my pocket the pocket length how i how deep i wanted my pocket to be i just trimmed the edges to give it this shape um and then for the pocket opening i made it seven inches seven inches okay you could go by six inches 6.5 seven inches the pocket i'll be measuring where i want to be attaching my pocket always ensuring my two inches bun so for the location where i'll be inserting my pocket i want to mark nine inches so nine inches then i'll arrange it this way the right side of the pocket facing the right side of the pant for the front and also the right side of the pocket facing the right side of the pants for the back so this is let me just also secure that with my pins so wherever you see me securing my pins remember that's what i'm going to be doing the joining exactly so let me just quickly do that and also do that for the other side too okay i'll take it to my machine so this side that's joining the pocket to the pants and also so the other side where i pinned okay so when i'm done the pants will be joined to the pocket the next thing is to start from the waistline so this way through the pocket and to the hem of the trousers so that is same thing i'll do to the other side of the pants too. i also go ahead and join the two side inseam of the pant that is in between the legs i also go ahead and join that so this was the outcome next i want us to measure the circumference of the waist this is what will aid us to cut the length of the band so let me just use that to get the length of the band i'll take this to my sewing machine and join it this way to make it round then i'll start from the midpoint this way and I shall be painting it all around carefully take note about the arrangement the right side of the band is facing the left side of the trousers watch that closely that is very important okay it is a must to make sure that the arrangement is correct before you can get everything right now when I'm done I'm going to be stitching all round just as i've painted already i'm going to be stitching it all round then when that is done i'll fold it this way bring it on top making sure that it align with the first stitch then i'm going to be stitching on it again all round i will ensure that i leave about an inch space in between this side just this side So this was what I was talking about. I've left an inch space at the front there. That's why we're passing my band through. I hope that is also clear. I think our pant is basically done. So I'm going to be taking the length of my trousers and I'll fold in the allowances. And I'll just stitch that. The pant is almost done, right? Then I'll insert my band and make several stitches on top of the elastic band to make it look more presentable and more beautiful after i'm done inserting my band i'll make sure i stitch that one inch opening to close it up thank you for staying with me and see you in the next video